Oh, hey friends. I have to set you up again. So here we go. Last week I had birthday and I took a few days vacation and I did not work on my game or did not work on any YouTube videos. So I have six days left to make some progress on my game, edit this video and upload this video to YouTube. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> We're gonna see. I don't know what I'm exactly doing this week, but nice to have you here and see you in a couple days. So I sat down and worked on a game mechanic that was bugging me for quite some time. For everyone who is new to the channel, I'm developing an idle game that is focused on the stock market. You start as an individual investor and transform into the biggest company in the world. As of right now, all investment decisions are randomly controlled by an AI. The player has no choice when and where to invest in. I think it would be fun to change that and give players more choice about their investments. So I. Um, drew this basic concept of how I envision things to be in the future and I've drawn this yeah, kind of like control panel which I want to implement in my game. And one of the things I want to implement is a short-term trading panel where players can initiate a trade on the stock market by clicking on a button. It's pretty much the clicking mechanic you know maybe from Cookie Clicker or Clicker Heroes. But players can also adjust settings for their long-term investments. For example, in what industries the AI should invest in, how much risk the player is going to take or willing to take, and what market cap should be prioritized. This will enable players to play around and see what works best over time. As I said, I only have a couple of days now and implementing all these features is going <laughs> to take a long time. So um, I'm going to focus on this clicker mechanic first. Just pressing a button and getting the same amount of money every time is quite boring. Therefore, the amount of profit from each click is directly related to a value I call trading performance. It basically tracks how successful is your AI system in choosing good trades. And the higher the performance percentage, the more money you earn from each click. And last but not least, just like in real life, not every stock trade can be successful. That's why I implemented a slight chance to lose money when you click. So the clicker mechanic is now working and um, yeah, the next thing is going to be the upgrade system so players can buy upgrades and improve the performance of the AI system. The interface for upgrades has been finished for quite some time now, but until now there was no functionality behind the buy buttons and all the text was just placeholder. Implementing upgrades was not as easy as I thought it would be. I had to set up a JSON file with all the relevant data for each upgrade. And then of course if you buy an upgrade a lot of things need to get triggered in the background. You need to save the effects of the upgrade into the database, hide the upgrade that just got bought and replace it with a new one. Of course you need to save all this information for when players close the game and start the game again. Especially the last part was not that easy for me but now I've got a working upgrade system so that's pretty cool. Of course. I don't have any real upgrades yet. I'm gonna do that later uh, when I start polishing the game and um, yeah, preparing it for release, I um, add in real data. And that's pretty much it for this devlog. You can subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss out on these devlog videos. Join our Discord if you wanna ride with me and the guys. Both links are in the description. Have a great day, see you, bye bye.